this lesson, we're going to talk about things that you should be able to identify in IT experience management and the importance of that identification. Without experience data insights, which highlight both the current issues and what matters most to end users, improvements are based on things like gut feelings, personal belief, um, vendor sales tactics, how somebody feels about an outsourced provider, perceived needs of whoever shouts the loudest, and technical data that is rebadged as experience. While the correlation between smoothly running devices and software is evident, experience is something human and it's impacted by circumstances, priorities and non-technically related issues. One saying that really relates to me is, happiness is not the absence of problems, but it's actually how to deal with them. So first of all, let's think about the definition of experience and experience of how we mean it in ITXN. So sometimes you might hear sentiment and experience. So let me just explain how we define the two. Experience is what the outcome is. It's the journey from all the way through, from the beginning to the end, and the user's experience right at the very end of that process. Sentiment is very much based on each individual element that comes into play within that process. So I feel frustration because something's broken. I raise a ticket and I don't get the timely response that I need. I feel further frustration. I'm unable to be proactive. Um, I may start screaming at my manager for whatever reason. I then suddenly have relief because somebody's listening to me. And then suddenly a little bit of satisfaction because something's done and I'm back to normal. Each of those individual feelings is what we define as sentiment, but experience needs to be looked at from an end-to-end -end process. So experience is multidimensional, and it's really important to be able to identify the areas of where the pain points are. To be able to identify, you need to be able to have multiple data sets that come together to be able to show you which areas of pain points are the most critical to an organization. So for example, let's think about IT, correlation of operational data alongside with the experience data enables you to drill down into the specifics around the areas of pain points. It also needs to be something that multiple stakeholders can view and, and have visibility of. So for example, a country manager may want to understand where their employees are losing productivity. A service delivery manager may want to understand how they can improve services across the whole of the service desk. So that it's really important to be able to have lots of data points with all of the facts that can relate to each one of these different business units within an organization. So remember, improvement and experiences is all about people. You've heard previously in one of the sessions that people, process and technology need to happen in that order. Digital transformation projects, we hear about 70% of them fail. They fail as a result of IT making the decisions based on what they believe is right for their user base. However, some of these changes actually have very little impact or no impact on users, therefore not improving the overall experience, but worse still, some actually make the experience poorer for the user. Organizations have had to adapt to change into a hybrid environment. They have to provide services on multiple different channels. And as a result of that, many have implemented things like portal experiences or chat experiences. This is all great. It's what people need. They want fast responses from their services. However, if we do it wrong, then it can have poor consequences. So we have a customer that implemented a chat system. They wanted to improve the experience that each of their users had when dealing with the service desk. So somebody would go on and raise a question on the chat and they will get an immediate response because the SLA said, you have to respond within 10 seconds. So within 10 seconds, somebody was talking to them. Fantastic start. But then they waited and they waited and they even waited a little bit more until that communication came back. This drove extreme frustration for their users because previously, they would just be able to log, pick up a phone call and talk to somebody. Now they're using new technology, but actually it's taking longer and it's causing more frustration. So something that was intended to be good has actually turned out to be completely negative. The SLA enforced the agents to answer the chat within 10 seconds. It's great to start off with, but then they had too many chats to deal with. 
they were more focused on the SLA and hitting that because of contractual requirements than they were about the experience of the user. So they would leave them hanging whilst they had multiple chats in play. This in itself created huge amounts of frustration for every single one of the users and a lot of lost productivity as you're hanging and waiting for a user to, for somebody to respond back to you. As a result of this individual customer, they decided to remove the SLA. And wow, what an improvement. Experience scores went up, end users were happy, and agents actually not as frustrated either. So all in all, it's a great outcome. People can be skeptical about the data that experience shows. Just think about this. How many of you have looked at TripAdvisor or Trustpilot or looked at things with five-star ratings before booking even a personal holiday? Things that you want to reflect, ask for reviews. How do other people do it? How do other people feel? This is why benchmark is really important. IT are no different. IT have a challenge that they need to be able to deliver a great service. But how do they know what great looks like if this is the first time they're embarking on an experience journey? Benchmark data gives you that comparable insight to be able to really have a look and see what's how IT is performing, not only in things like channels, but also by country. Remember, every country's way of rating experience is very different and very unique. As we wrap up this session, let's just take a few key takeaways. IT experience helps you identify what matters most to the users. This takes it away from traditional IT metrics, puts a new lens on things. Being able to drill down into specific data points on whether or not on service or support or other areas of the business to understand where the users are really using and losing time. With that, I hope you enjoyed the session and thank you for listening. <laughs>